Hi, I was Booster, Discover 4A. Hello. Hello, my name is Booster, I'm 10 years old. I'm from uh, Sydney. Hello, my name is Booster, and I study at Hyderabad Primary School. Okay, excellent stuff. Um, do you have a favourite uh, subject at school? Yes, I really love the art and I have art every Thursday. Why do you enjoy art so much? I think art is like a language for us so we can communicate without having to learn. We just have to relax, sit down and enjoy the nature. Okay. Um, what do you, do you enjoy drawing? Yes, I really love drawing, like, if I don't do that every day, I'll go like crazy. <laughs> okay, so what do you enjoy drawing? I like drawing some cartoon, cartoon from the books, books, mm -hmm. and I, act, I also love drawing characters and nature. Okay, good, excellent stuff. Okay, so Mingan, we've got three different parts to this test. The first part is going to be involving me asking you some questions. <coughs> the second part will be um, about you doing some note taking and then talking about a particular thing. And the third part will involve a few more questions again. Okay? Um, so the first part is about history. Do you enjoy learning about history? Yes, sometimes I really love learning history about the ancient things, things ex especially the pyramids, because that is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Oh nice, basic stuff, well done. Any particular pyramids? Is it the Egyptian pyramids? Yes, or? the Egyptian, uh, the Egyptian pyramids. Oh nice, basic stuff. Um, how often do you watch TV programs about history? Well, I often watch them the once once a day. Okay. Um, why do you watch watch these programs? Um, what do you mean? So, you watch watch history programs about once a day. Yes. Why do you watch these programs? Do you enjoy them? Do you um, just find it interesting? What 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 appeals to you about them? I think it is uh, interesting. Okay. Is there any particular um, TV program? about a certain culture or a certain country that you enjoy the most? Um, I usually enjoy uh, um, I usually enjoy history about the about a, if they say a particular place it's Japan. Okay, so why do you enjoy <coughs> historical programs about Japan so much? I like it because Japan is like a like an art performing, performing arts, material, mm -hmm. like material arts, mm -hmm. and like samurai and karate and judo, and it's just like the start of the material arts, and I really, I really on to karate. Excellent. Okay. Um, do you think the internet is a good source for learning about history? I think uh, I think internet is very best best source. But if it is early, invented earlier, then we might know more about the people long ago because we can read documents. But I still think paper is a bit of a better because it it can last for a long time without to be a, the computer being broken. Okay, um, is there a historical event or is there a person that you that? that has been throughout history that you would like to know more about? Well, in fact, I want to know more about um, Florence Nightingale. She is uh, she's a nurse. Well, in fact, she used to be, uh, her father and mother used to be a uh, friend, friend to uh, some the royalty, so she had to act proper. While mm -hmm. she likes to be in, uh, being on her own opinions, her mother's friend forced her to act like a lady while she didn't like it at all. But when she got to, uh, to a nurse hospital, um, uh, learn, learn, learn to learn, learn the, um, the, um, I'm sure that her mother and father's friend might be not happy, happy. But in fact, she even changed the world by organizing. Without her, uh, now, uh, now it's just like uh, the people were killed by famine diseases. Okay, so what appeals <coughs> to you, what does Florence, 
Florence Nightingale appeal? What what interests you the most about her? What why do you want to know more about her in particular? I want to know how can how is it like to be a nurse uh, of her and and how can she get so strong uh, without being controlled by a particular by an enemy? Okay, good, excellent stuff. Okay, so we're going to move on to part two now. So part two is about an intelligent person. So I'm going to put this here so you can see it as a point of reference. What I want you to do is I want you to describe a person who you think is very intelligent. I want you to tell me who this person is, what this person does, or what they did, what, what you know about him or her, and explain why you think this person is intelligent. I'm going to give you a piece of paper and a pen, and I'm going to give you a minute and a half, and what I want you to do is I want you to make some very quick notes, and then after a minute and a half, you're going to tell me about this person. Do you understand what I need you to do? Okay. Excellent stuff. A minute and a half starts now. seconds now. Okay. okay, I want you to finish off your point and then we're gonna you're gonna tell me about your intelligent person. So, what can you tell me about your intelligent person? Uh, the intelligent, the person who I think is intelligent is my best friend. Her name is Tantan, and she has <coughs> many interesting ideas. <coughs> she loves to cut it and making paper things. Yes, because she knows how to cut what she is free without being sliced quite like other ingredients toddlers. She is also nice and friendly. She knows how to fix problems look easy, easily, but and I really admire her because she got many friends. Okay, good, excellent stuff. Okay, so let's move on to intelligence. So I'm going to ask you some questions about this, and I want you to try and give me your opinion on it. How does an how does a teacher help children develop their intelligence? I think first of all they help the children to make um, to know more to so they could blend into the learning experience. Yes, and then they will start to teach them, teach them, teach them, and making them learn exercises. Okay. Do you think a parent's role or their parents play a role in this as well? Do you think, do you think uh, parents uh, of students help develop their children's intelligence? Yes, of course, because because at home the, the, there will be no teachers, so so the parents take care of the, their role. Like when they help them something, they can teach their children how to cook, <laughs> cook how to slice, slice and to many hot, and they devil all. Develop education, also develop their hobby. Okay. Uh, do you think there is a high level of intelligence? Do you think a high level of intelligence always leads to happiness? Uh, 
In fact, not quite because well, some some uh, one can learn a lot, but but they might have think they will have a happy life, but in fact they she lives in a miserable life. She already lived miserable life because their their parents just like stacking her uh, her desk was full of books. Most well, if I, I found I found that particular person inside the, my favorite movie, The Little Prince. Okay. Um. Are do you think that highly intelligent people tend to be selfish? I think not because the because the intelligent people can might might be uh, wise because they know many things and especially uh. Like uh, <coughs> like uh, know the things in the earth, but sometimes I found that my heart felt hard, uh, felt not great with a um, with a selfish, intelligent person. I really uh, really like my uh, my uh, my, uh, my uh, she sits next to me, but he's so annoying. Okay. Um, do you think society in Vietnam and around the world place a lot of emphasis or a lot of importance on being intelligent? Yes, I think yes because I think think in fact if they are intelligent, they might invent a lot of things, things better things for the future. Do you think that that is right, or do you think it's wrong? Well, in fact, I don't. I'm not quite sure because some intelligent people can be robbers, and they might be have the trick to, to rob without being caught. Okay. Okay. Good. Excellent answer. Well done. And that concludes the video test.